Nina? Open the damn door! Be glad to, as soon as I booted these idiots out of the system. What are you doing here? And what do those... idiots want with you? I'm a member of an elite group of cyberspace explorers. We're hackers. I manage an extensive network of bots, over a million computers all under my control. NASA and the Pentagon dream of computing power like that. Tell me, how does all that processing power handle simple doors? Once I've got the system back under my control, it'll handle them just fine. Hey, would you mind calling off your toys? Negative. Murphy's currently under enemy control. I'll be with you in a minute. In the meantime, you should probably get out of his way. Calm down. Calm down. Cassandra warned me that I shouldn't get too close. Looks a bit like a bull terrier. Small me. I wouldn't do that unless a chainsaw was mounted to my arm first. A robot with a mounted shield. There's a mount on its other arm where you can fix a weapon. A paradise for scrapheads. The Ludolfs would love this place. First, I'll collect everything that looks even marginally useful. A drill. I've mounted the drill. She's looking sweet. Robots, are you ready? There are plenty of spare parts here. Try again. A buzzsaw. She's wielding a buzzsaw. More girls should be trusted with power tools.
At least there are plenty of spare parts here. Try again. A flame torch. I've armed her with a flamethrower. Death from afar. At least there are plenty of spare parts here. Try again. A taser. I've equipped the robot with a taser. I call her Electric Death Bitch. Well, great. Two years of work and nothing to show for it but a pile of junk. You're Cassandra. I programmed the voice modular in junior high. It was super practical for when the principal called and wanted to talk to my dad. Come on, they know where we're hiding now. They'll be here any minute. Why did you leave me here? Michael Anderson is my uncle. He discovered a mathematical formula. Beneath Da Vinci's painting? Exactly. He didn't know what to do with it, so he came to me. That's kind of my thing. Archimedes himself formulated the proof. He came up with an ingeniously simple method for calculating pi. Short version, please, Bertrand Russell. The world record for calculating pi is somewhere around the five trillionth decimal place. But with Archimedes' formula in my network of bots, I was able to break that record several times over. Guess what I found? More numbers? Come on, I don't even understand what's on your t-shirt. In Pi, there's no system. It's pure chaos. Until this point. We're now approaching the quadrillionth decimal place. No one has ever calculated Pi this far. 
It switches to zeros and ones? Binary code? A message. Blueprints for a machine. A schematic? How is it there's a schematic hidden in the middle of Pi? Good question. Pi has essentially existed since before the birth of the universe. It always has, and always will exist. If you're of a certain disposition, Pi was decided by God. And what kind of a machine is it? No idea. But that's where your friend comes in. He must have found something that didn't fit into the overall scheme of things. Just like my uncle. Damn, they're quick. Get out of here, now! This way. It's blocked! Is this the only way out? No. I've got to get around the barrier. I'll need a minute. What am I supposed to do? I can't just stand around doing nothing. Try to hold them up somehow. Okay, I'll try. Hurry. Take care. I still need your help. I need you too, talking calculator. here in Cadiz. I thought the part for the machine was supposed to be sent to headquarters from Rotterdam. It will be delivered from Rotterdam. Later. First, we're loading cargo here in Spain. We won't be making a delivery to headquarters again for a few weeks. It's just a replacement part anyway. She's regaining consciousness. It's us. Give her another dose. did they give me? And more to the point, where am I? I'm in deep. If what I heard is true, then I'm not headed towards Max. First, I need to get out of here. I can hardly breathe in this hole. Promising. The fluorescent paint that I found next to me in the container. These slits barely let in the air, let alone the light. Sadly, I can't remove the vent cover with my bare hands. I'll be careful not to get any on my hands. Who knows what the military put in this crap. The key card is covered in fluorescent paint. I'll slide the key card through the slit and out into the light. Gives off good light. Plastic, probably for safety purposes. Metal. Sturdy. Bolted from the outside. This bar adjusts the hinge on the container door. If I make an effort, I might be able to twist out the bar. Smashed. They would have been stupid not to, I suppose. There isn't much left of it, but I'm too attached to it to just leave it behind. Armed with this. Yeah, I almost want them to come for me now. I've removed the vent cover. Hopefully no one heard the noise. Air, light, freedom, Max. 